What's poppin' y'all? It's your girl Team Stacy, and I'm back. Baby, I said I'm back with another YouTube video. And if you're new to my channel, hello. And a return subscriber, what's up? Alrighty, guys. So I'm super excited for today's video. You guys can see by the title and the thumbnail. We are doing a full face, but not any full face, baby. This fall inspired full face using all of my holy grail products these are products that if i ran out today i'm going to the store today to replenish them okay i can't live without them i love them i had this video requested and i kid you not i've been sleeping eating dreaming this video i was so excited to bring this to you guys if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and join the team and just do like nike now because it is just so lit on this side like we just so lit and we just be slaying our makeup and slaying our hair and just it just be the vibes it just be the vibes um so yeah if you are interested in seeing how i achieve this look using all of my holy girl products definitely definitely keep on watching and let's go ahead and get into it products so the first thing i want to say is if you are like a og to my channel and you watch all my makeup videos just know that i use my holy grails almost every time i do my makeup so with that being said i have a lot of new makeup on the way i had a comment like a few weeks ago of someone asking me to do like viral makeup up from TikTok and stuff like that so I started to order some new makeup and all that good stuff so I'm super excited about that coming in so I can switch up the roster a little bit because if you're anything like me girl when you like something you stick to it and I'm like that with so much like food like everything like if, if it's something that I like I just keep going back first on my holy grail list is the noxima wipes this is the anti-blemish one i got put onto this by this makeup artist and this has changed my life i like to use this for my clients and for my and myself it's very strong some people like the smell but for me girl it is so strong but i do feel like it cleans the skin really nice before makeup i don't know if it really like protects from acne but i feel like it does do a, a, a good protection for your skin before you put makeup on it you know okay guys so for moisturizer i'm gonna go ahead and take my holy hydration from elf this is it the name it is in the name holy hydration it's a holy grail period i used to use the equate moisturizer and it was fine but i don't know what it is about this one i just feel like it just it like penetrates the skin rather than like kind of sit on top of the skin so i'm just gonna rub this in getting under my eye it has grapeseed oil jojoba oil it has hyaluronic acid bilberry oil it is just like i feel like the oils make it like a little bit more thin so like it just penetrates the skin very very well and i love that you guys can see already i just look healthy i look like i just a matter of fact let me get some water but i look like i just i drink a lot of water Y'all, like, I'm just realizing I don't think I drank any water this morning. I just had a large coffee. This is my Holy Grail primer. I'm absolutely obsessed with this primer. This is the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. And it is just the best dupe for the Milk Hydra Grip. Shout out to this girl. Long time ago, she was talking about this, like, before it kind of went viral. But she was talking about it on, on her Instagram. I'm like, you know what? Let me try it out. This is just something I can't live without. I literally can't live without it. I know a lot of you guys probably would have thought I would have said calamine lotion, which I really do like calamine lotion. But the only thing with calamine lotion is I reach for that when I need to wear makeup like for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really reaching for it like on everyday wears. It is so sticky. Look. Do you see my hand sticking to my face? Ugh. Okay, so this is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Micro Brow Pencil. This eyebrow pencil is literally so precise and it is only, I want to say like $3. This reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil, yet it's it's a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the price. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Ultimate Brow Wiz is like, I want to say $18, where this one is like three, maybe four. But I like my eyebrow pencils to be on more of the thinner side because I just feel like it just, it helps with my natural, my eyebrows looking natural, not too thick and just looking so neat. 
and you guys see like how that just glides on so effortlessly oh look at that look at that it's a little long but we'll cut it off when we do our concealer so I'm just tracing out the natural shape of my brow and then I'll go ahead and um wow my face is so lifted guys I just installed this wig so you guys know that 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 face lift a wig gives you is just unmatched that's the process so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just brush through my eyebrow hairs just kind of making sure that um, the product is not like chunky in any areas and then we'll lightly fill in but I don't want my eyebrows to be too you know dark these are the elf camel concealers the white top i do see a lot of people love the black top ones which is the matte um and they compare it to the tart shape tape which i want to get my hands on those those are oldies but goldies i never tried them but these are the hydrating ones i like these better but i'm going to go ahead and take medium warm and that's what i'm going to do to carve out the bottom of my brows i just love this concealer this concealer i think it goes for six or seven dollars it's so good to me i literally love it i feel like it's like really full coverage and thick and you could build her and like it is just I love it like it's just it just does it for me for the front of my brow I'm gonna go ahead and take um, deep caramel and I'm gonna mix the two and then I'm gonna go ahead and just take my concealer brush and lift up my brow and I'm just gonna drag this down if you guys want a full eyebrow tutorial I have one on my page if you want to know how to do your brows if you're struggling um that video was definitely going to help you i'll link it down in the description box below or you can just check out the playlist on my channel it's like called makeup tutorials and you can use that to help you with your eyebrows uh to blend out the concealer i'm gonna go ahead and take the real techniques brush in number 300 it's like a really dense um fluffy brush and i think it's just so perfect blend to blend out like your under eye concealer alrighty guys so I did go ahead and finish my eyebrows off camera so let's go ahead and get into the eyes so I'm still gonna go ahead with my holy girl concealer which is the elf camel one this is in shade fair warm and I'm gonna just use this as a base for today's eyeshadow look so this base is nice flat and even so now we're gonna go ahead and show you my holy girl eyeshadow palette don't beat me up okay <laughs> Don't beat me up, but I could not choose. Like, you guys know these three be on my channel. Like, I get paid for it. I love these, okay? I don't get paid to use these. So, let me just clarify that. So, this is the only one that I'm using three holy grails, okay? So, let's go ahead and just get into the eyeshadow look, okay? First, we're going to go ahead and take the Zulu palette. And you guys already know the shade that I was talking about. We're going to go ahead and just take that on a fluffy brush and we're gonna use a, a wet and wild like just a fluffy brush i don't think it has any number it just looks like this it just looks like this so we're gonna go ahead and take that and we're gonna put this brown shade right above our crease as you can see we're just gonna pack her on and you guys just see like First of all, this shade is just gorgeous. Some palettes, like, like for example, like the James Charles palette, they have a shade that looks similar to this, but it like, in the palette, it looks like this shade, but then you put it on and it has like this plumish, like undertone, like a real purpley undertone. This one has the tiniest hint of red, but it's still like a nice brown and it looks very flattering on, almost every skin type so i just love that about this shade like it's just it just does it for me i love that um next up we're gonna go ahead and just take this light brown shade right here from the warrior palette and it's almost done we're just gonna go ahead and use the same brush that's okay it's okay just me and you and we're just gonna take the lighter shade and we're gonna put that right above um we're gonna put that right above the shade we just placed down i know if you guys watch my videos you're like oh my god stacy you literally use the same eyeshadows for every look first of all you're right but secondly secondly 
I have bought some new palettes, so I have some new looks coming up. The only reason why I didn't, um, well this is the Holy Grail, that's why I didn't use that new palette, but I definitely have some new looks coming up. So after we place down that second shade, now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take a clean brush now because I don't want things to get all murky. I'm gonna take a clean brush, it's the same brush from um, When and Wild, and we are just going to blend out the edge. We're just gonna blend out the edge. So with the Wet n Wild brushes, um, for example, fluffy brushes, angled brushes, these are, they're all sold at Dollar Tree, literally for a dollar. So definitely pick them up and then get them, get them in like a, get a few of them because they're only a dollar. You could probably get like two or three of these uh, blending brushes because sometimes you want to have extras on a hand. So when you're blending like this, they're nice and clean. But as you guys see, we're just blending out the edge, making it nice and smoky. Then I'm going to go back in with that deep brown that we had took from the Zulu palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and just put this back into my crease because I kind of feel like I lost some pigment. Next up, we're going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. We're gonna go ahead and take this black shade. Be careful if you're using the same palette as me because you guys know that that black shade in that Anastasia Beverly Hills, it ain't plain, girl. It, it, it gets serious. This is a blending eye brush from e.l.f. and I'm gonna go ahead and use this to get the black. But I'm just gonna work this on the edge and then kind of bring it in, but in the, in the crease. So we're gonna put it on the edge just like that. Then we're going to push it into the crease, bringing it up just a little bit. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the first brush. This was the one with the most, the darkest brown shade on there. And we're just going to use windshield wiper motions to kind of sweep the black into the crease. And then I'm just going to kind of pull the black out a little bit that's on the corner of my eye because we want to help this blend. And just to help with the blend, we're going to go back in with that dark brown shade from the Zulu palette. And we're just going to put that right above the black a, a little bit just to bring that color black. And this is also going to help with the blend. We're also going to bring it like outside of the black like on the corner as you guys can see so we're going in the crease and we're still bringing that brown shade a little bit outside the black and that's just going to help with it being all blended together so next up what we're going to do is we are going to add some shimmer to this i'm going to go back in with the warrior palette and i'm going to add this pure gold shade mm, i'm going to do the pure gold here and i think i'm going to do bronze okay so we're going to do the pure gold shade I'm gonna use my finger. It's gonna be hard because I have long nails, but we're just gonna pop that right on the lid. I'm gonna have to use a brush because my nails are so freaking long. We're just gonna pop that on the eyelid. After you pack it on, once you do a little sweeping motion, it gets nice and pigmented. For the outside portion of we're gonna take this um, kind of bronzy gold eyeshadow and we're gonna put it um, closer to the black but we're gonna try to like kind of merge the two shades together just so we have a sparkly gradient effect on the eye and as you guys see I'm just going on that edge and we're just merging the shades right on together I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here. It's almost gone, but it's like a light champagne shade and we're gonna put that on the inner corner. The order is gonna be like a light champagne gold, then a true gold, and then a bronzy gold. And then that all fades into the black. Alrighty guys, so another holy grail is going to be this. Not particularly this shade, but this is from J. LaRue Cosmetics. And what is this? Actually, I don't remember the, the shade, the name of this one. But they have the best loose pigments ever. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. And today we're going to add that. It's just We, we just want to be a little extra. We're going to add a little shimmer to the eyeshadow look. Um, they have two. So this one is more of like a, of a gold reflect. And I feel like it's going to go perfectly with today's makeup but they also have one that's more of like a silver and that one I love that I'm obsessed with that one it is like super fine like it's like 
granulated sugar fine and if you dab your brush into it sorry I'm a little out of focus but if you dab your brush into it it picks up a lot of products so we don't need that much oh my god that was so freaking cute that literally looks like an effect but that's real life sweetie so we're just gonna take a little bit and guys like please look at my eyelid watch how this sparkles oh my god that is just so freaking cute on the lid and i think it's just a perfect finishing touch it's giving fall and it's low-key giving holidays i'm a little ahead of myself right now but yeah those are definitely some holy grail glitters if i like their their regular glitters are fine i feel like you can get regular glitters anywhere like you can save your money and get some off amazon when it comes to like the loose fairy dust pigments definitely this company has it j the Rue cosmetics my next holy grail product is the mega liner from wet and wild it is just super duper cheap and it's gonna get the job done right okay per but as you guys can see it's like super black i love the tip it's like easy to like just draw I love it I just love it so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a dramatic liner it dries down matte I believe I did order a new one though because the only thing about this is it doesn't withstand water very well I, I think they actually do have a waterproof one but I always grab this one maybe I should try their waterproof one but this one it's not waterproof like if your eyes start to water or you're crying or like you wipe your eye super like kind of aggressively it will come off which is not so cool but as of now this is my favorite liner i feel like the tip is like just so perfect i'm gonna go ahead and just take some concealer to clean up my wing liner a little bit because they're giving cousins not sisters but this is my holy grail foundation as you guys can see uh she's real slim she's been on a diet lately girl it's super tiny because i use this stuff as much as i can this is the julia's place foundation i am magic and i am in color 440 from savannah so i'm gonna go ahead and just uh ju it just matches me so perfect i love the texture um the consistency is just amazing on my skin and it's very versatile i feel like it looks good on a lot of my clients as well the only thing that i don't like for my clients that's why i don't use it on all my clients is like um shade matching like i like a glass bottle where i can like kind of just hold it to my client's chest and just you know see but with this i feel like you kind of have to remember names i actually did like a little technique to help with that issue but for me personally, holy grail. I love it. It's so funny because when I first got this product, I didn't like it and it's because it is very full coverage. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and just clean my eyebrows, the top of them. I've been liking like doing that with foundation lately because I just feel like it's like a little bit more natural. Sometimes I go for concealer, sometimes I go for foundation but lately foundation has been my thing. This is a holy grail blending brush for me. This is the e.l.f. Um, this is the e.l.f. Uh, blending foundation brush and I love this brush. I absolutely love this brush. We're gonna go ahead and push this foundation right into the skin. And as you guys see, like, it just is so amazing. It's so full coverage. It's very, very buildable. So definitely a little bit goes a long way. And this is why this is a holy grail. Like it just goes into my skin effortlessly. I love the finish. It's not too drying. It's not too like um, dewy. It is literally skin. It's giving healthy skin. I'm gonna blend by my eyebrows with a, the small um, Real Techniques brush uh, just so I don't disturb my brow. And then we're gonna go back in with my favorite concealers. Like I told you guys, Holy Grail Concealers is the e.l.f. Camel Concealers, inexpensive and just raw, like literally. I'm gonna take um, shade 
fair warm which is very very brightening and we're gonna put that right in the inner corner and then next up I'm gonna go ahead and take a medium warm and that's what we're gonna use for the other areas of our face And like I said, it's just super full coverage. Like, I just love that. And after I do that, I don't know, I do this technique. I don't know why. Like, when I put it on my face like this, I like to spread it out. So now we're just going to go ahead and just spread. My favorite Holy Grail concealer blending brush is going to be the Real Techniques in number 402. It just looks like this. This is what I like to blend out my concealer with. I just feel like it gets the job done for me in the, in the avenue of brushes. So what I like to do is I like to blend out the edges of my foundation, I mean my concealer first. And I just feel like it just, it just helps with blending a little bit quicker. And then we'll go ahead and tap in the center and just push that into the skin. You really don't want to be moving and swiping makeup. I learned that it just comes out more flawless when you're tapping, okay? Okay, and we're going to go ahead and just let the under eye dry down a little bit more. All right guys, so we did go ahead and let the concealer dry down. So now I'm gonna do the same technique. This is where it matters like 10 times more, but you really wanna blend out the edges of that concealer before you get close and into that eye. So we're just gonna work on the edges, blending her out. We'll definitely give that a try because it just works like it literally just looks so good when you do that so yeah we're just blending out the edges all right so after you blend it out the bottom edges now you want to blend out the side edges of your nose i leave that second because it's the, like the lightest part of my concealer so now you want to blend out the side edge and then we're going to go ahead and just look up and blend out the remainder of our eye and as you guys can see it just looks so good so full coverage especially because the elf camel concealer it is very like full coverage especially for a drugstore concealer elf is just the one that's thing this year but then also we let it dry down so it's even giving us more coverage and we just love that all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the real techniques um brush in 300 and we're just gonna use that to blend out our nose our nose concealer and we're just pushing that into the skin so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our under eye and we're gonna use my favorite 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 oldie but it's a goldie this is the Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent as you guys see I got the travel size girl that big one is expensive I ain't feel like spending that money but yeah, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to push the setting powder into my skin. And you definitely want to start with your under eyes first because those are going to be the first to crease. So we're going to set first and then we're going to go ahead and bake. So we're just going to set it, pushing the powder right into the skin. I really want to try a new setting powder so if you guys have any setting powders that you like let me know i've already tried the milk setting powder i've tried the air spun um what else have i tried and then i, I tried the fit me powders i don't really like the fit me powders i know a lot of people love those but i don't really like them so i want to try a new one i'm thinking about trying the rcma one um but if you guys know any really good ones i'm definitely open to your suggestions because I need a nice setting powder. If it's cheaper, that's great. But if it's like around the same price point, but it's just really good, I'll definitely pick that up. All right, guys. So next, let's go ahead and get into my Holy Grail Contour Palette. We're going to go ahead and take our 
black radiance true complexion contour palette and this is in the medium to dark y'all gonna see this is my favorite i'm not lying i feel like everything that's my favorite it just be so beat up but we're gonna go ahead and take that middle shade and i'm just gonna use a angled contour brush from wet and wild but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and contour i'm just gonna put some on our forehead and i'm just gonna take a little bit of the darker shade and add that as well just so we can deepen up our contour I'm just gonna use whatever's left over on our brush to reverse contour and just really just clean up the uh, our contour. And then next up, we're gonna take a bronzer. My favorite bronzer is from Morphe, um, Glamour Bronzer. I like to move between um, Prodigy and Icon, but today I'm using Icon because Prodigy can get a little bit a little bit dark, and I have like big bold edges, so I don't have room for like real blending if your bronzer is too dark so i'm just gonna go right over um my contour if you want to know how to contour and bronze your face properly check out my video i will also link that down below in the description box and that is just my um beginner basic series on how to contour but next up i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take my Holy Grail Nika K's blush palette. I definitely wanna try out some more cream blushes, but um, this is what I have right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take that red shade. I feel like that's just gonna tie the look in together because it's giving like, you know, like just warm and fall, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a big fluffy brush. I'm using the Real Techniques number 400. I'm feeling like they just be the same number okay no this is not this is the number 400 and this is called the blush brush so i'm just gonna go ahead and add some blush i used to be scared of blush i used to be scared of it so bad but it just it just looks so good on the skin i definitely did order some cream brush blushes so i'm excited for those to come in and to try those out all right we're looking too good right now too good but these are some holy grail lashes that i'm obsessed with i get these lashes off of amazon and i get a full pack of them and they're just really nice they look a little crazy in the packet but they're like medium glams to me like they're not too crazy Alrighty guys, so I did go ahead and put on the lashes and I did add black liner to my under eye. I didn't show you guys because I don't have like a holy grail one. I feel like they're low-key all the same. Some of them probably are cheap, but the ones I have, they're all the same. Um, I took the black radiance gel liner for my under eye today. So my holy grail lip liner pencil. Y'all can't see the name because like she's like all sharpened down. Hold on guys. Yeah, you guys can't really see the name because it's all sharpened down. But this is the Nika K's um, lip liner, and this is in Cocoa. Before we add color into our lips, let's go ahead and dust away my excess powder. I'm just going to take um, this random brush. I get these scent with, like, wigs and stuff, but I feel like it's perfect to just dust away the powder. And after baking, it's not that much powder left over. But let me show you guys my favorite holy grail setting powder she is a little expensive but it is definitely worth the coin it's gonna be the the max studio fix is my favorite face powder it is just perfect n5 for my under eye and let me show you guys what n5 looks like n5 is just like a way brighter shade so n5 is for my under eye and then c7 is for my face okay so yeah. Just go ahead and just tap this under my eye. This is just what keeps my under eye very, very bright. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and take the rest of the setting powder. And we're just going to push that on the entirety of my face. And this, I used to skip this step and I don't know how I was getting by. Like this just makes your face look so airbrushed so matte and so high quality my holy grail uh setting spray this is so good this is like a dupe for the uh what's that what's it called the urban decay all nighter setting spray this is the kiss matte setting spray this is a holy grail i love this it makes your makeup last all freaking day all 
All right, so we're gonna go, go ahead and let her dry down. While she's drying, I'm gonna take my favorite lip combo. I wanted to use, um, what is it called? Ruby Kiss Gloss Balm in color 02. Um, it's nude and I love that shade, but I can't find it. That's my holy grail. But my second runner up is going to be the NYX Butter Gloss and this is in color fortune cookie. We're going to go ahead and just use that today. That other one, pressure. And I'm just going to pat that in. Last but not least, my holy grail highlighter has to be the Fenty Beauty. Um, I like this highlighter. I actually have to go shopping for some more for highlighters. This is a holy grail for me. I'm going to use the one that has afternoon snack. Wait. Oh, it's falling apart. Ah! As you guys see, she's like all beat up and falling apart. But this is afternoon snack and mo honey. And I'm just going to highlight my nose. Bridge of my nose, under the eyebrow. Do we want a face highlight? Yeah, we're gonna do a face highlight. And then the cheeks. I like to do the apples in my cheeks, the cheeks, that's why I smile. And sometimes I put my highlighter before the setting spray and sometimes I do it after. Sometimes I feel like when you do it after, it kind of like is more vibrant and like, I don't know, I feel like it, it, it like shows a little bit better where the setting spray can dull it down just a tiny bit. But either way, it's still really nice. Alrighty guys, so let me go ahead and fix my hair and I'll be right back with the final reveal because I just look so good. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of today's video. In today's video, we achieve this fall sparkly gorgeous inspired look i'm absolutely obsessed with this look it is everything to me it is just screaming fall like it's just screaming fall like i just i don't know um so yeah if you guys like this video please 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 do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up that's how i know you guys like content like this if you guys have any requests comment down below let me know if you haven't already which i think you you did but i'm a, i'm gonna just in case you forgot i'm gonna remind you go ahead and subscribe to my channel join the team and just do it like nike and yeah guys that's pretty much it if you made it this far in today's video go ahead and comment down this secret emoji right here that's how i know you are og you a trooper and you gonna rock out till the show is over and i love you guys for that thank you guys so much for tapping in today and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye guys